Hello my friends, it's Nash back with you today for TLC Designs where if you remember a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, can't remember which video it was, I did a little bit of partial die cutting and I talked you through that. We're going to do a little bit more. We're going to change a square die into a rectangle. We're also going to use the tip top fairy dance. I've brought my and a little a puff tenth of turkey delicious turkey turkey it's not a turkey turtle delicious. So I brought my big shot in to give you a have a little bit of a look. Generally speaking, you don't need your you shouldn't have your see how my die is like straight on. You shouldn't do that. But I didn't have much option with it. But what I'm going to do is my Big Shot plates are a little bit curved. So you just need to be aware, wary of that. So I've run it through, but wherever your plate is, that's what's going to cut. So on top of your plate, that's going to cut. So that's why you have a little bit overlapping. So what I've also done is when you put it back together to cut the second half of your die, it fits into the groove. Now the Big Shot plates have a magnetic um, platform. If you've got that, that's awesome. But it can be just use your your like washi tape or you know your purple tape to sort of make it stick down. So I'm going to show you this. Do I show you this again? I can't quite remember. Yes, I do. So we're going to do this a second time. Now it's not going to cut through the second layer, so don't don't stress. Put the plate, the die hanging out. I've run it back and forth purely because we've got two layers. So I wanted to try and get as much of that cut as possible. You're going to fiddle with it and you're going to feel when it clicks into the groove top and bottom to where you've already cut it out. Plate's only halfway. Remembering where your plate is, that's where you're going to cut it. So you can see it's perfectly lined up. but. I've done this a few times so make sure you practice before you bring out the big guns and want to do it for something special. Obviously because we've got the two layers we have to use a knife and just to trim out that second layer. TLC obviously has the daisy frame die but I wanted uh, yeah daisy frame die but I wanted this one to have those little flowers. I wanted it to be a little bit different. So we're sort of making like a picture frame. I'm just eyeballing here roughly how much cardstock I'm going to need. I'm going to trim it down with guillotine. I've also got in the Loving Petals square die, you've got the little hearts that you saw me run through and I've just cut that out of some red cardstock. You do end up with two pieces. We're just going to use the small ones in this video. And I've cut out way more. You can see all the bigger ones there. I've cut out way more than I need, but just save, just save them. And then later on, if you need something, you've already got a die cut, so it's super simple. Okay, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty here. So as I said, we've got tip top fairy dance. Now my idea was to have them all together so it's sort of like a fun ta -da, type of photo that they've got hanging up on their wall. I know, I'm a little bit eccentric, I probably, I, I would probably think people would think I am anyway. That was my idea. So we're going to do a bit of masking. Now I've just got some full stick post-it post -it notes and the problem with the full stick post-it notes they're not as thin you do still end up with a little bit of a gap between the two images that you're trying to mask but that's not a big deal and you will see I'm just trying to make sure you'll there right there 
I'm using a multi-liner pen and just looking at the the drawing do I get everything right no you'll you might see you might catch me later on in the video with this particular one that I'm doing here I it was a bit of a line I thought it was a wing but it's clearly I don't know I'm still not entirely sure what it is looking at that picture it's a wing but I don't know what I've done but it, it isn't gonna matter so it's all good my friends a lot of the coloring especially the girls dresses you're not gonna see you'll see the top half of their dress but you won't see the bottom half but that's okay I'd rather have it all colored in and ha not have to come back to tidy up another area so we've stamped all our little bits and pieces so with some white cardstock I've just die cut that square the loving petals uh, loving petals square dime because it has this little daisy I've used way too much sticky tape but it's okay we can work through that lessons learned put it that way so what I'm gonna do is just tidy this all up and if you use less sticky tape or kept hold of your little center of your flowers and honestly this was the only one that actually did pop out and I needed to make sure it was safe then you've got no sweat it's a lot easier than sometimes I do things the hard way I'm sure you you guys are all the same sometimes you don't no this one isn't the one look at that the one at the top there that's the one that lost its little century bit so we're going to use a little bit of multi matte medium just to glue him down and I'm just putting it right in the center so his little petals have a little bit of 3d dimension-y type of thing this little streamers is from the tip top tip toe fairy dance and so we're going to use that I don't use the sentiments in that um that's where I'm going to grab the Turtlelicious stamp set and we're going to use the giggle a lot I just wanted something a little bit finer we're using different distress inks here we using they're not a distress inks they're um, just some crimson some ultramarine some teal just different colored of you know just colorful party type of streamers so I'm just trimming down my cardstock I just went around the edges so I'm gonna chop her feet off she won't feel a thing I will need to trim up a little bits and pieces elsewhere just to make sure it fully fits into my frame I wanted a little bit more dimension this is do this without putting before you put the flowers on I, I swear to you I do make life a little bit hard for myself sometimes but it worked out perfectly but do yourself a favor learn from my mistake and before you put the white flowers on do this you, you know where the flowers are already going to be so it's not a big problem so I wanted to give the frame a little bit of a rounded look to it so we've gone on the inside on the outside and, and sort of made the try to make the flowers sort of pop out that little bit more I just wanted you to think about using your dies and the stamps a little bit different you know using dies to change part of of what you're doing you don't have to if you like the frame like I like the frame with the daisies but it was square so using partial die cutting you can change that around obviously until they work out how to change a square die into doing a circle you do have limitations but it's I just think outside the box 
that's what I want to do so so I have my skin color they're all going to be pretty much the same they're going to be the E04 E11 E00 and then I will go through with the E00 as I said before the only real problem that you have with doing masking out images and putting them close together is sometimes trying to figure out what's what but it's not really going to matter too much I'm going to bring the stamp set in. You can always have a look at that, just like that, and see what part is what. But no one is really going to know if you color something, unless it's a face or something. Unless, you know, they're not really going to know what it's meant to be. So just try and sit back and enjoy. Don't stress about um, what's what. Because it's all going to blend in perfectly well now i have missed a couple of spots like her her ear the little girl on the left i've missed her ear but i'll come back to that it's no good can you sort of see where my fingers are see how the there's an extra line there and i don't know whether i did it i think i did do it don't sweat it it's all good so the hair that we're going to use we're pretty much going to use two colors for the hair two combinations we've got e33 35 and 37 and then i'm going to make the little girl that i'm working on just there a little bit darker at e49 29 and 39. i'm working that the part of their hair is going to be a little bit darker where the roots are I'm hoping you can't hear too much noise you know this the time the season of life that we're all in it's not too easy to find a nice quiet area um, to do voiceovers so I hope you don't mind just working through her colors and I can I do constantly go back to the images that are on the packaging that Tammy's provided us with to see what's what and what's where because we've got a lot going on here so this is the other girl's hair I try to keep most of my colors sort of going through most of my colors I think are at least repeated twice and so the boy has a a blue bow 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 tie and then the girl on the right hand is going to have a blue dress so it's repeated so they all sort of have some unity some flow the bunny we're going to do white i used to have a white bunny when i was a kid so bunnies are white for me even though you walk around the streets late as the sun is not quite going down and you see lots of brown bunnies but my bunny was white so to me bunnies are white that's what and he had a very very imaginative name we called him snowy but anyway the wings we're going to put a lot of we're going to color those sort of white as well but they're going to have a lot of glitter on in the end so we're just sort of putting a little bit of the shadow in just so she it pushes them back a little bit so they're behind the little fairies that we've got going to work with and as i said they, of course they have to have glitter because they're fairies and they're sparkly just working through that so we've got our c5 our c1 a C3 and I will go down to a C1 and then use a blender to blend that out a little bit just rechecking so my blue for my dress and the bow tie are going to be B39 B B24 and B23 so you can use as I said you're not going to see her dress but look at it this way if you're not too confident 
of using Copics. You're not too confident of using dresses. Her top is pretty straightforward. The other girl's top is very straightforward because she has no sleeves. Oh, look. Oh, you won't see that little blue waistband there either in the original photo. But think of it as a practice. Okay. What I will sometimes quite often will do is if I have an image that is new to me, I will stamp it out. I have a little book. I will stamp it out. If I'm not too sure of where my shadows are going to be, then I will use a mechanical pencil and put my shadows in. So think of it as practice. You're not going to see it, but it's not a waste of your time. It's not even a real waste of your ink because if you don't practice, you're not going to get better at what you're doing. So giving her dresses a ripple through them is all practice because you're not going to get it 100% straight off. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It, it isn't going to happen. So for her, let's go back to this. For her, their mouths. I am using R29 and C5 for the dark bit. I didn't want it black, but we're just going to use a little bit of C5 for the middle, the depth of their back, the back of their throats. I don't know how, if that's the right way to say it, but so we've got her dress, we've got her flower on the top, this other little dress and the boy's t-shirt is going to be red possibly aesthetically speaking you should sort of have things in threes so I've got the blue bow tie I've got the blue dress I've got the bandana -y, the waistband that you're not going to see but I've got the blue flowers see the red I don't think I'm going to have, I think I've only got two reds. Looking at the card, I've only got two reds, but I can't think whether I colored her waistband. No, that was all white. That's all white. So with the greens that I've got, I am using G09 and G05. They're only pretty tall, they're pretty simple, so we're not going to fuss with too much of that. We're going to use some outer bits of some foam mount because I would rather use all of it than have some little bits and pieces go to waste. We're going to use that to mount up our little image. I'm off camera, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to make sure, just hold it up and make sure it's right. This paper is dragons in the winter it's from the, that range uh, for tlc designs and i will link that over in the description before below below what i'm also going to do is i will link i'll leave a little it's my first time trying to do it but i'm going to try and leave a little icard up there for you to link over to another coloring video so you can check that out as well. Coloring is a little bit of my thing. That's what I love to do. That's my happy place. That's all fun and games. This, I have just put it onto a piece of cardstock to make it a little bit stronger. Um, but it's, this is where I sort of go, I'm not so sure about this. I want to do things a little bit different than that. What I am going to end up doing, so I've trimmed this down, my normal measurements. I don't know what this is in inches, I'm sorry, because Australian cards are different sizing. Our cards, if you can see there, are narrower compared to your cards that are a little bit more um, wider. When you have a, a see the top and bottom your cards are wider there and they're a little bit shorter on the either side so but for me 
I don't think I'm going to bother you with measurements because that you're not going to... Hmm. My American friends don't know what this is, but so the panel that we've got here is 14.1 by 9.7. The white panel is just 14.4 by 10. That's purely for my Aussie friends. Sorry, American friends. We've got some gold glitter here and I'm just using a little pokey tool to push that around. I thought about putting um, some string, so it's like air quotes, hanging, but a lot of them don't have that these days so we are purely just going to just have it up on our wall air quotes again I wanted to put a little bit of these hearts around our frames just to blend it all tight all in it just needed some a little something and that's my card I hope you like it I hope you don't mind my rambling on a little bit and I will Talk to you soon. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Bye.